Welcome to Connection Kids Online. I'm Miss Murray. Happy Easter! I'm so glad we can celebrate this special morning together. There are so many things to do on Easter. You can have an Easter egg hunt or eat delicious food and eat Easter candy. But the real reason we celebrate Easter is because of what Jesus did on the cross and that he rose three days later. I can't wait to take a look at this special Bible story together today. But first, let's check out our memory verse. of the Bible, Jesus' Sacrifice. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus. Come in. Come in. And give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying, and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council, and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the Savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the Son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. 
Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 Huh, what? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Take one. Ow! Hello everyone, welcome to Scott the Magician's Apprentice Auditions. I'm Scott the Magician, and this is my apprentice, Caleb, who's auditioning today. I uh, put my first apprentice in a trance and I still haven't been able to wake her up. Luckily, I have Caleb here who's auditioning. Hi Caleb, how's it going? Good, I'm ready to make magic happen. <laughs> uh, I like your enthusiasm, uh, Caleb. So remember, this is an audition, so I need you to look into the camera right there and pretend that you can see a crowd full of people. Now let's do this. Okay, so for my first act, I'll use the art of illusion to make a rabbit appear out of thin air. This is going to be so awesome. I've always wanted to do this trick. Remember, these are just tricks, but because you have no idea how to do it, I'll blow your mind. Now, if I may, apprentice, I'll need the proper balloon. Thank you, Caleb. In order to properly turn this balloon into a rabbit, first, we need to make it look more like a rabbit. Would you please draw a rabbit's face onto the balloon? Well done. Now, we need to put this balloon into the cage and watch it transform right before your eyes. 
Yes. Caleb, will you please verify that that is now a live bunny? That is 100% real. Yes, nothing fake about this one. Now it's time for a segment I like to call Super Cool Awesome Magic Stuff. Check this out. Super Cool Awesome Magic Stuff! All right, Caleb, you ready to see quick magic trick? Yeah. Okay, I have a four and a seven. Which one do you like? Seven. A perfect number. Yeah, that's great. You're gonna take seven and I'll take four, okay? Here we go. Hmm? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. 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 The four is going in my hand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. I have the seven. You have the four. That's right. I have the seven. You have the four. Uh-huh. I have the four. Check it out. What do you have? The seven. What? How do you do that? I'll have to teach you later. Okay. Super cool, awesome, magic stuff! That was awesome. Indeed it was. Now that we have successfully made a balloon transform into a bunny, uh, my next trick will be with an Easter egg. I'm starting to see a theme here. Are you doing all these tricks with bunnies and eggs because it's Easter? That's right, Caleb. You know, I chose to do my second trick with an egg because it reminds us of the Easter story. The eggs remind us of new life that we have in Jesus. What do you mean? I, I mean that Jesus did something amazing for us on Easter. He was arrested beaten and crucified on the cross. He did all that so that we can have, be with God forever, one day in heaven. Really? Why did he do that? Well, he had to do that because we all sin. We all think and do things that God doesn't like and we should be punished for those sins. But Jesus takes the punishment for us. He gives us new life when we can follow him. Wow, but that's kind of sad that Jesus had to go through all of that just to save us from our sins. Yeah, it is sad. But he did it because he loves us. And that's not the end of the story because Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days after he died, he rose again. He was not dead. Jesus was alive. Jesus' death was part of God's plan for our redemption. His death and coming back from the dead brings us salvation and freedom from our sins. That's why we say that Jesus is our savior because he saved us from our sins and he gives us the best life. Well, that sounds amazing. So how do I follow Jesus? God makes it easy for us. First, you tell Jesus that you believe in him. Then you ask him to forgive you of your sins. You know, all those bad things that you think and do. Then Jesus will forgive you and you'll get to be with God forever one day in heaven. Jesus saves us and his death brings us into the right relationship with God. Wow. I want to do that. And if you've never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, if you've never invited him into your life to be your savior, you're going to have the opportunity to do that today. Guys, he loves you so much, he's willing to be part of your life and forgive you completely. God sent his one and only son Jesus to die on the cross so that you could spend forever with him one day in heaven. He loves you more than you can ever imagine. That is amazing. I'm going to do that. Awesome. I was saving a trick for the very end. Uh, are you ready for another one? Oh yeah. Okay, all you need is a scarf. You take the scarf, put it down into your hand, and then you say the magic words. So say the magic words. The magic words. Perfect, and you end up with an egg. What? Wait, I'll, I'll show you how this works, okay? It's very, very simple. Um, I'm not supposed to tell you how magic tricks work, but since you're my assistant, see there's a hollow point in the egg. You just put the scarf inside the egg like that. You look a little confused. I'll run through it again. The scarf goes in your pocket and the egg goes in your pocket. And when I came out with the scarf, I waved it around so you weren't paying attention to this part of my hand. I put the scarf down into my hand just like so and I said the magic words. The magic words. Perfect. And you end up with an egg. Wait, what? You just had a fake plastic egg and now you have a real pink. Yes, but the scarf is still inside the egg. You want to see? Yeah. Hold that. Ready? What do you think? That was great. <laughs> yes, it was. What? Now it's a real egg. Where did the cloth go? Easter tricks are crazy. First the bunny, now the egg. Yeah, they're both uh, fun tricks. But remember, they're just tricks. There's one thing that we talked about today that's real. Do you remember what that was, Caleb? Easy. 
It's Jesus. That's right. And this is the really amazing thing about Easter. So remember, as you're having fun this Easter, you can choose to follow Jesus. Caleb, I think the audition is over, and I think you did a great job. What do you think? Thanks, it was fun. But I really want to figure out how you did that egg trick. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Scott the Magician's Apprentice Auditions. We'll see you guys back here next week. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter. We want to take time this morning to thank Jesus for being the ultimate sacrifice. Because he died on the cross for our sins, we are able to be forgiven when we ask for forgiveness and choose to follow him as our rescuer and Lord of our lives. What a great reason to sing. So stand up and let's worship and celebrate together. So
Today's Bible story reminds me of one of my favorite types of candy. Can anyone guess what's in here? Sour Patch. Did you know they make Sour Patch Bunnies? They're super sweet on the inside, but before you get to that part, you have to go through some sour stuff. Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice for us by dying on the cross. He was beaten and horribly mistreated. He could have easily saved himself from this torture, but he did not because he knew it was the only way he could fulfill his mission. Three days passed after he died, and then the most amazing thing happened. Jesus was no longer in the tomb. He was risen. He was alive, the sweet part. What he did was the only way we could be forgiven and be with God forever. We can choose to believe in what Jesus did and ask God for forgiveness of our sins. Jesus' death and coming back from the dead brings us salvation and freedom from our sins. That is why we say that Jesus is the Savior, because he saved us from our sins and gave to give us the best life. If you want to follow Jesus by accepting the gift of salvation through Jesus to be forgiven of your sins and have new life, Join me in this prayer right now by repeating after me as we pray. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe he died on the cross to pay the price for my sin and rose again. I want Jesus to come into my life and be my savior. I want to follow him and obey him. I want him to be Lord of my life. Thank you for the gift you have given to me and for preparing a home for me in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer today, there are angels in heaven rejoicing. As you enjoy the rest of your Easter celebration today, have a great time doing all the special things you do, but always remember the reason we celebrate is Jesus. I'm so glad we could spend this Easter morning together. We love you and are praying for you at Connection Kids. Have a great day.